guys, how's it going? Hey, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be great to create some sort of safety first meeting at Squirrel Stamp? Uh, what's going on here? Ah! Uh, uh, like I was saying, things are getting a little rough out here and... Oh! And sometimes I wonder if we had safety measures in place. Oh! We wouldn't get hurt so much. What's up with Jay? He did not get a new Spinjitzu Burst figure pack yet. Oh. Lego Ninjago on the table! Hi guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and today we are going to build some great Ninjago toys. We have the Spinjitzu Burst figures, Cole Kai and Laloid. Very nice, very action-oriented. And also we have Master Wu's Dragon, a very highly detailed, highly intricate looking dragon for the set size it is. Lots of things to build, lots of explosions and crashes to make, so let's get right to these amazing Lego builds. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, subscribe, and squamant! 928,000 Squirrelibers! And back on the table with the Spinjitzu Burst Squirrel, which one should we go with first? How about the green one? Everyone likes the green one first! Laloid? Oh, we always have to build Laloid first. No? Okay, cool, it's fun. You always say cool gets left out. Yeah, but maybe everyone would like to see Kai first today. I can't decide you're going with the red ninja now. Okay, the red ninja just opened something. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, um. All right, let's do Cole first. He always gets the short end of the acrylic stick here. Although someone called me out the other time showing how many sets I really did build Cole. I just feel like I'm always short on Cole. Anyhow, set number 70685, Spinjitzu Burst. Whole 48 pieces. And these boxes, check out these boxes. They're almost like they're Spinjitzu Bursts themselves. Great artwork. There's Cole Spinjitzuing about and the instructions. I've played with the previous one that did some bursting like this like so and it's actually really entertaining. I hope it continues like so. Probably my favorite burst spinning action toy from Ninjago. So let's burst Cole out of the box. And inside we find one large bag of pieces, one smaller bag of pieces, and a small section of instructions to build, which we shall. If we only could talk just a little, find a place where the past is forgiven. You moved on, I am stuck in the middle. Tried to run, but there's nowhere to go. Feeling in the sleep. And constructed our first Spinjitzu Burst Launcher. What does everyone think of the new Cole minifigure? It's like his insides are bursting with lava earth. Gotta say, I love the new helmets. Cole looking quite angry there on each side. On the back, more fire dragon bursting from his back. Also with these, we have a nice little casual hat. That helps when it's raining, because when it's raining on your lava chest, it's just going to cool it down too fast. So there is our launcher, and I really like the ingenious design on these. If you're to slowly press down on these plungers, you'll see how the Spinjitzu burst part rotates, and that's how it will fly and spin. Pretty nice, so let's give it a try. Moving our hat out of the way, protecting our squirrels behind boxes. Let's pop in coal into his spinner. Oops! And let's give it our burst. Whoa, perfect capture too. Now I don't think I captured the full effect though. If you get it to go really fast, these sides are going to kind of spin out a little bit and then the rubber band will tug them back in. But the spinning feature is solid. I really think this kind of spinner is some of the best action toys from Lego Ninjago. Well, so shall we say, open another? It's going to have to be either Laloid or Kai. Laloid or Kai. Well, I'm gonna have to go with Kai. Sorry, Laloid. I like the Red Ninja. And opening up. Ha! 
And a Kai Spinjitzu Burst Launcher built. What does everyone think of Kai? Kai looks like he's on fire. I wonder why. That's weird. That's gotta burn, right? Good from most sides. And again, on the back of these, they have that really cool dragon imprint. And of course, on a rainy day, and especially when you're on fire, you're going to want to have a hat like this. This will keep the rain off your fiery torso. So the launcher is pretty similar to what we just built with coal, and usually that's the case. I figured there might be a little more color change, but it's actually almost identical. I think the only thing different, obviously, is the Spinjitzu Burst elements going around. And then the few small studs, we've got red triangle studs here instead of the clear transparent studs. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else that's really different. So if you're looking for something that's crazy different, don't think about it. Anyhow, let's get Kai in and test him out. You gotta get these figures in just right, I've noticed. There's a little pad in there and it helps separate their feet and stabilize and centerize everything that's spinning inside. Okay, Kai, are you ready to go? Let's give him a go. A little wobbly. Woo! I feel like I just haven't hit them hard enough to get that burst to go out yet. Let's try it really hard. Whoa! Let's try it. Not so hard. Something became unbalanced right there. There it goes! Alright, I got a good deployment, so you really got to smack down hard on these. Oh, that is so cool! He goes flying off screen pretty quickly. I'll hold back a little bit. One more time. Oh, cool. Oh, sorry Landry. Now I'm having a lot of fun with these. Oh! Double Landry hit! Sorry. Okay, well why don't we take a quick breather from the Spinjitzu Bursts? What are you talking about? Sorry, Lloyd. Let's check out LEGO Ninjago set number 71718, Woo's Battle Dragon, 321 pieces. Looks like a very intricate small dragon build set. Sometimes the smaller dragons lose some of the detail. This one feels strong on detail. Hero Woo included as well as Glek. On the back of the box, Woo's Dragon. Inside the box, small instruction booklet. Bag one of pieces. Bag two of pieces. And fun with three bags of pieces. Plus we have some dragon wings. And if there's stickers involved, I haven't found them yet, so let's start building. Wow, it's looking like most of the pieces of bag one are really going to build the core dragon and its head there. I wonder what the other bags are for. Hey Squirrel, what is your favorite how to build your dragon dragon from Ninjago would be? I wonder what kind of food Master Wu feeds his battle dragon. Probably dragon acorns. Dragon acorns are much more high in protein than the regular squirrel acorn, I believe. Often, baby dragons learn how to fly from flying squirrel camps in trees. It is a long, age-old tradition reaching thousands of generations. And constructed Woo's Battle Dragon. Wow! Such intricate detail on a pretty small size set for 300 pieces. There's a lot going on here. From all sides looking fantastic. 
So many small scaled pieces placed together to build such a dragon. Good playable size too, not too big, not too small. Good wingspan, just the right amount of spikes in the right locations. And Master Wu sitting on top with the cool saddle and dragon bridle, pretty fantastic. Lots of articulation going on in here too. The neck of the dragon has several points and Master Wu is going to hunch over Oops. when pulling. Oh no, Master Wu, hang on there. Uh, look at that. Neck on a ball joint too, up for the head so you can move it around in many different places. I like the use of the skeleton body inside of the legs here. Uh, moving on the ankles, or those ankles of a dragon. The back hips have a lot of movement in there for flying, I suppose. Tail movement on some are in hinges, a lot are on ball joints. And these giant wings are on hinges. You can raise them up a little bit and squeeze Master Wu up top and then raise them back down. Huh? Very nice looking dragon. There seems to be several different positions you can place this one in to make it look awesome. Uh, and just getting Wu to sit there though, he's kind of likes to fall off a lot. Oh, I guess we could place Wu's weapon up here. He's got a bow staff. I don't know how you want to like place it in there, but you got some clips to work with. Wow, what a small dragon set as we take out characters from the sides, but well worth the build. And the set also comes with a ivory blade of deliverance on a special display stand. Not real ivory though, it's Lego ivory. Only Lego elephants killed. What? And we have, whoop, Glek here. Glek has a small cross arrow stud shooter, which I don't think the stud's on there exactly. Will it shoot? Oh, nope, see, I didn't have the stud in there, right? There it goes. Oh, sorry, guy. Poor guy. He's getting beat up. Now, finally, with Wu and his dragon completed, we can go on to Spinjitzu Burst Laloid. Set number 70687, 48 pieces with all of these. And constructing. And constructed Spinjitzu Bursts, Lloyd's Bursty Spinjitzu Machine, and I think I got something way off because one side is pushed this way, the other one's pushed that way, kind of fell asleep on the build. Let's see if it still works though, it might still work. Drop Lloyd into his launcher. Clear the set so that no dragons or Master Wu's hips are broken, and, oh it still launches. Whew. Although it doesn't seem as fast. I should figure this guy out and then launch them all in a second here. Oh, real quick, let's look at Lloyd though. What does everyone think of Lloyd? But Lloyd looks more like he has some strange plant growth going on with him. All these figures are great. I love how they still have the facial expressions just about right. Sometimes the specialty action minifigures come out a little bit too much, and I think these are just about right. I like the neon-like look of the dragon on his back. Three really nice minifigures with the Spinjitzu Burst Packs. Okay, I've straightened out Laloid. One of these sides was off skew a little bit, so now he should function perfectly. How about Laloid versus Kai? Oh, Kai went to go take on Cole, I suppose. So the next match will be Cole versus Kai. Cole versus Kai. Here we go. And Kai wins victoriously. Still not getting them to fly out as well as I should. Let's do a Kai and the Lloyd rematch here. See how they do. If I can get Cole in his launcher in the back here. Oh, come on. There we go. You gotta kind of rotate and twist them in sometimes to get them and then the side lifts up. Oh, <laughs> Lloyd is ready to go. All right, here we go. Lloyd versus Kai, round two. Whoa, jeez. They're not really going to fight each other. Why would they? They're on the same team. It just looks cool right now. They should have made a couple bad guys on the spinners too, right? All right, let's try one more Lloyd versus Kai. He kind of went that way. They went that way. So if I rotate him this way, what'll happen? Uh, I got Lloyd going the wrong way. Oh, Kai. Kai's taking on Lloyd's launcher. That's a good strategy. All right, so this time I'm going to put Lloyd this direction. Kai this direction. Maybe I can get them to roll into each other. Ready, set. Oh, and I bumped into Kai, but I think I've got the right idea this time. 
And if you're trying to remember whose launcher is who, remember they've got the little colorful elements on each, so you should be able to remember who's who. But these are quite a lot of fun. Uh, which direction? This way? Was that the best way? One, two, let's give it a real good slam. And so far, Kai is just the best, the best one on the spin. Maybe it was like that. They don't always come out where you want them to, but this is incredible fun. I think I'm having the most fun that I've had in a while with a action toy. Oh, and Lloyd was right after Kai, chased him right off the table. Now, can I do all three at once? Do I have the coordination to do all three at once? I'm pretty sure that's a no, but let's give it a try. So one of these, two of these guys, I'm gonna have to hit at the same time like this, and then this guy I'll hit like that. So, ready, set, oh! go three at a time that actually worked pretty well I'm so impressed by how well these function mechanically it's pretty simple there's very little error going on let's try one more time one more action hit with three ready set oh oh what I think Cole win that one. Oh, look there he goes that is fun check these spinjitzu bursts out you will enjoy the action and that is Spinjitzu Burst for today. Wildly entertaining. I cannot recommend these enough. They are super fun to launch and spin. And they spin. Wow, do they spin. They go everywhere. So find a couple packs, smash them into each other, have lots of Ninjago fun. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel life, and a squamant so we can talk about how awesome these Ninjago toys are. Thank you for watching. That's what I have to say about that.